We sympathize with Tunumbo's health condition and we will not hold it against him. Yusuf Dati Ahmed. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. As the general 2023 presidential election set to kick off in the next few days and the commencement of the presidential campaign, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, while addressing the people during a, a press conference, has noted that the Labour Party LP sympathise with the former governor of Lagos State and presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Adekunde Tenembu, over his health condition and will not use it against him in 2023. While addressing the people, Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed noted that he has never talked about Bola Tenembu or anyone's health condition and can never be quoted anywhere, adding that he does not speak about the personal condition or God-given talents of any other presidential candidate because there is morality behind it. Further speaking, Yusuf Dati noted that P2B also showed his concern when Balatin was unable to show up for a variety of events, according to Yusuf Dati. He noted that P2B said that he hoped Bola Tenembo is okay, adding that the Labour Party LP sympathizes with Bola Tenembo's health condition and will not use it against him in 2023. According to his words, Yusuf Dati said, Nobody has ever heard me speaking about the health condition of Bola Tenembo or any other person, and I cannot be quoted. And I can speak for His Excellency P2B. We do not speak about personal condition or any God given talent of any candidate because there is philosophy behind it. There is morality behind it. I personally believe that the health in P2B is bestowed by Almighty Allah, and P2B made the same comments when Tunumbo could not show up for a variety of events. We have spoken, and he said, I really hope that gentleman is okay. He expressed his concern. I really, really hope Tunumbo is okay. And Peter B and, and myself will not hold it against him that he is not well. We really sympathize with Bola Tenembo, but we will not hold him hold it against him. Well, he has not accepted that he's ill. When the weak made himself available in the field of fitness, what do you expect? Tenembo is too old to be president in an advanced world of today. Don't say in an advanced world. Say in Nigeria. In advanced world where they, are, they, have, they have built, they have foundations, they have put things in place. They have gone through the building stages that now they can now manage. Somebody who is old, just like they are going to quick, be quick to tell you what of Joe Biden. All right. Joe Biden is much older than Jagaban, even in advanced country like America. So nobody is a city boy, have you forgotten? Huh. Okay. <laughs> We are also sympathizing with your own health condition. I don't think you understand the write-up. I think they were actually asked the question before this. this they did not just come out and start talking about this. That speech is described as, as forfarsis. That is very wise to present an aphorotic narrative about Tenebo's health. Now, wisdom and they used to take deal with person when no agree accept the truth. <laughs> Tell him to go and read. He needs rest, not restlessness. Who, yeah, who is if that's there, tell him to go and rest. Ah. Somebody as old as that should be able to tell himself. See, he don't do. Self, he don't do. Make we go rest. All right. That you are doing well at all. Nothing do to Nobu. He'll become president and he'll spend eight years. And all his enemy will die before him. Who are the enemies? I hope you're not referring to the electorate too. <laughs> okay. Yusuf Dati Ahmed, God bless you in the morning, afternoon, and the night. At 95, with mental decline, Tinubu is not fit for presidency. We had the Tinubu say he's 95. Some people will be saying they don't, they don't go find this man medical and birth certificate like you. Hmm. Well, let's Dane, Roberto Baggio, Donga, it is no longer play for the respective national teams. Tinubu is spent. They now push him from behind to assist him in the podium. Tinubu needs rest and not vote. My prayer to him is to gain his health and lose the president because Nigeria is not healthy. We need a healthy president. Nigeria is not healthy, I hope you know. That is why we cannot afford to take somebody who is even ill. Nigeria is really, really ill. You should have sympathized with your father's health and not someone's father. Who are you even to contest against Jagaban? Some people there. They support someone so blindly. And I've told you in your support, 
Hmm? Just make sure that they're not supporting blindly, sure. Make sure that you are not in any way supporting blindly. I don't really know what is wrong with the way of reason when it comes to the question of health of an individual. Okay, who can stand up as a human being and see he does not have health challenges? That since he or she does not have fever since he or she was born. What are you saying? Point to someone of his or her sickness. The remaining four fingers pointed. What are you saying to your lung? In order for you to defend the undefendable, you are now sounding like a broken record, brother. Don't do this to yourself. Nobody, what is who I can point? Please, I can speak for myself. If you cannot speak for yourself, I'll do it. I can speak for myself. What is this one saying? Do you know what you're saying? Now, let me clarify you. Let me clear you. Maybe you don't even know what you're doing. Turumbu is frail and fragile, no doubt. And I'm not saying this because I'm mocking him. This is just the truth. Nigeria is ill. Nigeria needs somebody who is agile, who can run from here to Jericho nonstop. When I mean that, I mean run because there is a lot of things to be done. There are a lot of things to be done and the president will need to be supervised. I'm telling you. You'd be like, say, the president will need to supervise some things so because do you know that many projects that this sitting administration and president have done have not been able to find its way to the public? Why? Because some people were placed in charge. Now, so the matter is closed. Though. Hmm. He said that elders' clothes is smelling and will not live long. You are indirectly fighting your health. I don't understand. Thanks, Joe. You understand well. May my God not disappoint you. And mock you that you'll be. I beg, just leave about to be alone. Desperation and anxiety, my wahala, indeed. All right. Now, the thing is, leave APCO. I don't sympathize with them one bit. You know why? They have credible candidates in the Northeast. They have people who are credible candidates who will say, you know, a light lie. Their credibility, you cannot question it. And they refuse to give. That those people, they refuse to give them what? They refuse to give them the, what's it called? The, the should I say, um, the opportunity to serve. They refuse to give them the ticket. And now we'll be saying, you don't read like this. They're not coming out to tell us this one. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Huh? My own is, if you're voting for any candidate, make sure that candidate is healthy. Be very selfish with voting for these people. Vote for only someone that you know that will take Nigeria to a better place in this country. Huh. You know, vote for somebody who will come and tomorrow we are going to start biting our fingers. So, huh. A word, they say, is always enough for the wise. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.